can't believe it's already Tuesday. It's like crazy. Um, I just got back to the house. I've been really bad at vlogging this morning. Um, I took dropped Remy off at the groomers because it was his, uh, every six weeks he gets uh, groomed. So it was that time for him. Um, I just made myself a super bright like dragon fruit, strawberry, kale smoothie. I took kale from our garden that was in the fridge. It's pretty tasty. Um, went a little heavy on my protein powder, but it's okay. I'm trying to use it up so I can get some new stuff. Because I'm going to get some, like, collagen-based, like, protein powders from, like, Ancient Nutrition. I believe, and there's, like, a couple that are on Thrive Market, which I actually do buy some stuff from Thrive Market. Um, so, yeah. So, pretty chill day. Um, nothing, like, crazy happening. I'm working, um, balancing that. And then I have to take... And then I actually am looking at my calendar. It's like, I have a skin check. So this is your your reminder. If you haven't gotten your freckles checked, make your appointment. Um, I think it's really important. Um, I actually, well, how long ago was this? It was before I got married. So I've been almost married for six years. Um, I think it was the year we got married. So I think like in 2016. So I'm, I'm 30, so it would have been like 24. I actually had a bad freckle um, and it was the stage before it turns to skin cancer actually. So um, I was, after that I had to go like every six months, but then they moved me back to like once a year, once things were good. I have had to have that spot removed like one more time to like make sure it's okay. So it's just like on my shoulder over here, I have like a tiny scar from it. It's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Um, so. Make sure you, you're wearing sunscreen, but, like, not even just, like, your cheap shit from, like, the drugstore. Like, buy some, like, really good quality stuff for your skin um, if you burn easily like me. I wish I didn't. But also, like, worshipping the sun, I feel like it just does da total damage to your skin. Um, but, again, you do you, boo-boo, but I'm just going to say nobody wants skin cancer. Nobody wants, like, a huge chunk taken out of their skin because they have to have a freckle removed. Um... So yeah, so there's my little preaching moment. Um, but yeah, so I just have that today and it's like pretty much a chill day. Does anybody else watch The Bachelorette? Did anybody watch last night's was the first episode? It was um, the limo night with the guys and like introducing to the guys. Um, there are a few that I was just like, wow, these seem really great. And then there were a few that I was like, okay, like this is gonna be interesting. So I'm really excited about this season having two Bachelorettes. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts below. Like if you watch the show, I would love to chat about it. Um, any more friends that watch it because I love talking about it. Um, so yeah, I think that's, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, dinner last night was fabulous. I know I had like made a like quick little video before Kurt got out. I was like, we love eating outside, but we really do like in the summertime it is our favorite thing to sit out on that, um, on our patio. But, um, the beef was my sister's beef. So that was really cool. And then the broccoli was actually our broccoli, like the one head that we had out of our garden. So that was really cool. Del it was delicious. Um, just having leftovers tonight. Brooke feels a little bit lost over here. Not too lost, but she's a little lost. It's weird because she went from like, oh, I need to be alone and it's all about me and like, you know, my life kind of thing to like, now it's, she's sad. Like when ruby has gone, it's so cute. And I'm like, oh, your brother, like that's so sweet. And he even does the same thing to her. And here I thought sometimes they like annoy one another, but not the case. <laughs> Just picked up Remy. He looks in, looking extra handsome. And then I got him two new toys. Oh, what a good boy, Rem. What a good boy. Just had my skin check. Everything's fine. Freckles are good. So I'm happy. So now I'm going home. <laughs> Good morning and happy Wednesday. I am currently um, sitting outside the building where I go see a nutrition response practitioner. Um, and I'm just waiting for her to show up. I'm a little early. Um, but yeah, so that's what, I, what I'm doing. I will probably explain this a little bit more in depth like later on today just because like I'm waiting for her to show up and I don't want to get on like a tangent and then her show up and be like oh hold please I can't re I can't explain what nutrition response testing is um but that's also like an easy google search like if you're curious and you could probably like google like somebody like in your area too depending on like where you live if you're in the buffalo area I go to see maria at synergy um they have a couple of different locations one and I think this is technically 
Clarence or Williamsville. Might be like on the, like the border of those two. But um, the other one that is, I believe it is North Tonawanda, which is a little bit further for me. Um, but I come see Maria. They have a new location in East Aurora, but it's not offering everything that they do. But Synergy is really great. Um, I really, I really like them. I really enjoy everything that I've done. I've been almost, it'll be a year in October from when I started. Um, and so yeah, like that is quite a journey. Actually, maybe I will do like a whole separate uh, video on that actually would be kind of, would be probably pretty good because it would take up a lot of time it probably would be like a 20 or 30 minute vlog of like or video of me just explaining like what was going on in my health like what I experienced like where I'm at now um and maybe actually I'll do that around like the year that would actually be good that's actually a really good idea thinking about new ideas um so yeah so I'm just waiting and I will chat with you guys later I did such a bad job vlogging today I apologize. Um, well, I didn't really have anything going on. I was doing the same things that I did yesterday. Oh, I didn't even show you guys dinner. Oh my God. I did such, I blame it on the full moon tonight. Um, cause I just like have been like in la la land. It feels like I've been in like a real goofy mood today. Like I just <laughs> out my own little world, which is okay. But, um, so Kurt ended up having to stay, um, near the site he was visiting today. And so it's just me and the dogs tonight, which is fine. Um, I'm kind of used to it here and there. So um, I just have a, a hot date with my book. I probably won't be able to fi finish it tonight. I'm like more than halfway through this. Um, and it's nine o'clock at night. Um, but I wanted to show you kind of like what my setup is uh, right now, currently. Because this is like a typical night without Kurt. Like when he's traveling, this is like what me and the dogs do. Okay, so like I brought them upstairs, gave them their treats, and then um, I'm gonna flip the camera around real quick and show you like what they look like, and then my favorite thing to do. So like I used to, um, when Kurt traveled for work, I used to just watch a TV show or fall asleep watching something. Some of my favorites were The Office, Friends, Sex of the City, New Girl, uh, Schitt's Creek, I think that's it. Like those were normally, oh, and Big Bang Theory. Those are like the ones that I would normally like cycle through. Um, Cause like I would listen to them all night long and I would just sleep with an eye mask. But and the only reason why I have to do that is because with Kurt being gone, for whatever reason, the dogs are a little bit more sensitive to sounds. So they bark and like they heard like the littlest thing. They would like make a little like, whoa, who, who's calling that? What's that? What's that? And so it just like was just so frustrating because it's like, I still need to sleep even though Kurt's not here. So, um, so this is what I've done. So, and also like the reading has become a new favorite thing. And like, I've been reading some really good books lately. And so I just want to read before I go to bed. And honestly, it's like a lot better than doing the blue light anyway, even though I have the blue light on, the, on my TV, but I do have blue light glasses. I do have blue light glasses that I could put on. Um, so anywho, so now I will show you what I put on my, on my TV and it's not like friends, big bang theory, like any of a TV show it's on YouTube and they're like, it's such a vibe. Okay, first off, so I have Brooke on, in the bed with me first, and then Remy. Um, Brooke, I don't think she knows what she thinks to do because Remy has kind of taken this over since we adopted him last year. Yes, you. Um, and it's become his world, and Brooke just happens to be on the side, unfortunately. So, um, it's just how it worked. So, hopefully she stays. She's such a cuddler at night when, like, it used to just be her. Um, but then now that it's been with Remy as well, um, she doesn't do it as much. But I will have to squeeze in between the middle of you, apparently, tonight. Okay, so anywho, so this is what I do to you on YouTube. Is these, like, cozy night, like reading vibes like I just love these so freaking much um I just don't know which one I want to listen to tonight the tropical night bossa nova ambience sounds really good but there's I love the cozy jazz music with rain at night um I think I'm actually I think I might do this one the first one that like it was already on at the Corner. So let's see. We're gonna click that. And we'll see what happens. Oh, always have commercials, and I have to actually play through them. So, oh, yep, she's gone. She's like, nope, screw this. I want my bed on the floor. 
I have one dog bed over there and then I have another dog bed over there for them. And then this is what Remy does. I pick up all his toys. I pick up all of his toys when I come up because I don't want to step on them in the middle of the night or in the morning and he'll pull them back out. Hey, you're not chewing, you were in bed with me. So it's just like, it's just funny. And then I'll get in bed and I guarantee you will drop that in like two seconds and come up here, right? Yeah, he's like, yeah, mom, of course, of course, mom. Like, why wouldn't I do that? Okay, so this is, oh, this is rainy. Turn it around. Um, hey, you know I don't like bones on the bed. It's a big, that's a doggy no-no. Can you get down, please, with that? Thank you, good boy. Okay, so there's there it is. Oh, yeah, that's the vibe. Even though I'm not in Amsterdam, this almost like is like, oh, I'm like, am I in Amsterdam? But you can tell, like, the screen is a bit, like, I don't know who edited that video, but it didn't, like, look right. But it still is perfect because now, can you hopefully pick it up? I can feel like I'm in just, like, a chill coffee shop in Europe somewhere and sleep soundly. It's so nice. Um, gave up on the bone bud. He's like, came back up. So like, okay. So yeah, that was my Wednesday. Oh, and I will, I promise I'll explain nutrition response testing. I realized I never got to that today. So I apologize. So I'll try to explain that in this week's vlog at some point. So hope you guys had a good Wednesday and I'll see you tomorrow for Thursday. <laughs>
and I am a tomato sweaty mess. And now I'm gonna eat breakfast and shower and get to my work day. Oh my God. Okay, so in my last vlog, um, I had talked about, I think one of my last ones, it was like the last two that I've only done. Um, I had talked about getting possibly my nose pierced. Um, I think I finally made the decision that I'm not going to do it. And I don't know if it's just out of like fear and nerves, but like part of me is also kind of slightly worried that I'm going to hate it. Um, I don't know why this is like different from being all inked up and like getting tattoos and I'm going to get more tattoos at the end of August. I have an appointment already. Um, and eventually I would like a sleeve on this arm. So I don't know. I just, yeah, I, I mean, I look good with a nose piercing. Like I have like the fake ones. Um, which I guess I could pop those bad boys in when I feel necessary, but I just, it just, I don't know. I don't know if I really want to do it. So, um, I like what this close to booking the appointment, I actually emailed them and then I ended up being like, you know what? I'm not going to do this. If I'm so wishy-washy about it, like, no, I've never been wishy-washy about tattoos. Um, I just really like getting tattooed too. I just, I'm weird like that. Um, but yeah, I think I want to leave my nose alone. And I also, I'm like thinking about like, hypothetically if I ever get like you know like a head cold and like what that would be like and then like trying to do makeup and like get around that area so I don't know I don't know maybe I'm just making up excuses but I for right now for sure for right now have decided to go against getting a nose piercing I also think part of it has to do with the fact that like I was actually supposed to get my nose pierced with my aunt um and it just we haven't been able to like sync up and actually be able to do it together and so um maybe like if she can actually do it sometime I'll do it with her but it's just like way easier to like I don't know like have somebody there like as for fun like I don't know but since I can't do it with her I'm like oh I guess I'll wait like kind of thing and who knows maybe we'll just never do it <laughs> just picked my first cherry tomato and I'm gonna eat it because you know that's like the fun of having a garden is yeah I like to cook with them and put them in salads and whatnot but there's something about the first one mm. oh my god scream summer it's scream summer so i'm out of my sister's house um previously the house that i actually grew up in she bought my parents house that's that back there um but i'm currently trying to find brooke because i don't know where she but she's not down at the pond i came down to the pond because she always likes to go swimming but she's not down there. There's Tara. So, yeah. But I'm out. Came out a little bit early for soccer. And then, I, yeah, I'm going to have dinner with my, with my family. My parents are here too visiting. Um, and, yeah. I have to find Remy too. Jeez, I lost both of my dogs. <laughs> party um everybody should be here like any minute so i'm like really excited but it's just such a vibe oh my god it's so good i can't wait kurt's gone with remy brooke's here because it's a girl's day it's a girl's day um so i'm super excited um yeah oh my god i'm just so happy right now <laughs> Nice! 
Nice. It'll go up, and then it starts to come down. When, when it starts, starts coming down. When it starts coming down, they drop faster than when they go up. So, so when is the... You want to get it when it's like at its peak. When it's at its peak. Is where it's the easiest. Okay. Nice. There nice. There you go. Yeah. I literally am sitting here editing this video as we speak and I can see right there. And I literally, oh, it is so hard to vlog and I'm just gonna have a real and honest moment with all of you that watch these and have been following along. It is so hard to like vlog, well not vlog, it's the editing process. Like it is so, I, I feel like I'm like the only content creator like that is creating stuff on YouTube that is always having issues. Like it took me forever to figure out how to like adjust the disc because apparently the disc on Final Cut Pro was like full and it's just like, oh my god, like I don't want to like lose this vlog because I remembered to vlog like certain things and I wanted to put it together and I wanted to put it out there and so I was like so scared that I was like not gonna have a, vlog a vlog this week for some reason. Um, and so I was just like, oh no, so I eventually figured it out and I think I have it set up for like going forward, but I hope one day, someday soon, hopefully like next year would be like a really good goal. I really want to get um like the MacBook like desktop monitor, like the big one to edit on and that way there's room and it's like specifically for like content creation like I so badly want to be able to do that and then I'm thinking of getting rid of like my laptop and like just getting uh an um iPad I was actually talking about it with my friend Stephanie yesterday um who I got uh like a breakfast like coffee date with um after I did Pilates there Sorry, I didn't film like any of my Pilates stuff because I was just, I don't know, I was just like, I, this vlog, this last week's vlog was actually like really hard for me because I feel like I was just so present and like focused on my day to day and what I was doing. Like I didn't even get any content for Friday. Like it went from like Thursday straight to Saturday, a little bit of my IV party, then a little bit of garden stuff, which um, we're having a deer issue. So um, the flower that I like posted a little clip of is a geranium. I believe it's geranium. You're supposed to be deer resistant. Well, something ate them already. So I'm now thinking that the thing that got my beets and green beans in our little garden was not a deer after all. I don't know what it was. So if anybody has any ideas, like please share them with me. Um, we don't really like have the space to do like a whole like fencing in like, like covered like sort of situation. And I'm just like trying to like repel the animals from eating the produce and the like money and work that we're putting into it. So um, yeah, so it just was like so frustrating. So we're trying to figure that out. Um, yesterday we had went out to my sister's house again. And so after I did Pilates and then I got uh, like a little like breakfast date I said with my friend Stephanie. Um, I actually also went over to my neighbor's house to, to hang out with them for like an hour before we went to my sister's. I didn't get a clip of that. Um, but yeah, so I went out to my sister's house to have like a Sunday fun day with a few of our friends and, um, one of my like hobbies, which I know could possibly be like, oh, like not cool or like, Hey, really cool that you can do that. So like, I respect, uh, both sides of the party kind of thing. And, um, I like to, uh, shoot trap, shoot clay pigeons. Um, I like to target shoot. That's just something that I do. And so I put in the clips of me shooting a little bit yesterday so I hope you find it cool and like are like well that's so awesome that you're able to do that and know how to do that um I find it amazing like I just it's just a hobby like it's just I love doing it and it's a sport and so um I am actually thinking about joining um there's like a trap team like trap league here where I live and the near Buffalo and so thinking about joining that someday um soon actually like I'm really thinking about like going and um getting my application done and stuff like that and uh getting like signed up to do that so yeah so we had dinner with them yesterday it rained yesterday finally it rained this morning because I'm editing this Monday morning so I apologize but I'm so excited so um thank you so much for watching I hope you liked this vlog um and I will see you for the next one and hopefully I don't run into any editing issues and disc issues and storage issues going forward <laughs> thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys later